हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक सो गाइज टूडे सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट अ न्यू टॉपिक रिगार्डिंग द फ्लैट फाइल रिकॉर्ड विथ आई डी ऑल्सो दिस इज अ फिक्स पोजिशन फ्लैट फाइल ओके सो हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ फ्लैट फाइल विथ रिकॉर्ड विथ नो आई डी लाइक फ्लैट फाइल डिक्शनरी वीडियो ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ऑन द सेम चैनल आई मस्ट से यू कैन गो थ्रू दिस पर्टिक्युलर वीडियो एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माई चैनल सो गाइज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट सो बिफोर वेस्टिंग टाइम ले स्टार्ट द डेमो so how you can create a flat file record with id so let me show you first the flat file so this is our flat file having a total four records model number country model and company and also having a total uh, like 1 2 3 4 four field invoice this is our uh, uh, field definition like record definition and 1 2 3 4 having a total three records three records and four field okay so very first i am creating one package so click on your server new then package at in that file pip pkg okay then finish uh very first you can copy this name so that while creating a folder you require this name okay so again click on this package new then folder paste it here this name so your folder got created now we required a two sub folder so new folder then schema okay uh, after that again we required one folder like sub folder so new folder then uh, you these are different name as a service then finish okay after that we are creating a schema so click on schema new then flat file schema or give user different name as a invoice flat file schema and then next here you can choose uh, either create manually or create from a sample file so uh, we are using this option create manually and click on finish if you want to increase the row you can increase so as of now i am uh, keep as it is then click on finish after that guys uh, this is our uh, flat file definition okay here as per your flat file you are uh, mentioning the details okay so delimiter letter flat file we are creating because uh, in our flat file having a comma separator okay so character you need to mention as a new line okay then character uh, like record character and here field or composite character so field or composite character it should be our comma okay then your two options are there start position zero and end field so end field all we already discussed now we are discussing the start at a position it means this is your fix related a flat file fix uh, position okay now here the schema name got created so click on this particular schema name new then click on record definition click on next after that here we are passing the record definition name so this nothing but your invoice or uh, this name i can say okay this is invoice okay then click on finish after that don't forget to click on invoice and after that here max repeat one change to unlimited because we don't have only one record we have a number of record 1 2 3 so to repeating uh, this particular uh, record we need to define the max limit count is unlimited and then click on this invoice new then click on field definition click on next here two options are there end field and fixed position okay so we are creating a fixed position data flat file which start from something and end from uh, something okay so i i uh, like i need to add some row so click by clicking this uh, option 
add row you can add something some rows and by using this option you can delete rows okay so we require total four rows so click on this name option just copy this name your first field would be your model number to avoid a human error just copy paste from your flat file then second field would be country then in here we have a model then last one is a company so here mandatory case uh, so uh, like you are working on a live project and if you receive a flat file and those flat file also uh, you are using some design documents or they they mention you these fields are mandatory these fields are option optional okay so those fields are mandatory you can by clicking this check box you can set as a mandatory fields and those are optional you can just unselect this check box so that it will take as a optional fields okay so in our case my requirement is model number is a mandatory and other fields are optional now here fixed position flat file always start from zero and the end position you can mention as like we are passing some flat file and having a the like model number only having a fifth character 16 character or 20 character so as per the uh, as per the span of this particular model number your length you can say length you can mention here okay so my model number is start from zero and end from uh, six then it will again country will start from six and end with the uh, 12 model always 12 to 20 and then company 20 to 30 okay so this is the thing then you can click on a finish button okay so the now the inverse flat file schema got created here star showing this schema not a save so once you click on this save button star will got vanish and now here you can see this document got created okay just double click on this particular document so flat file document you can see here okay see invoice flat file schema schema is uh, name is same only the dt will added here so we created a schema and this is a document we required in service okay so now we are creating one service so by clicking this option you can close all this uh, created uh, like all this open flap file yeah services and just click on this service create a new service new close service give user defined name as a uh, invoice flow service empty flow got created now we are uh, for error handling we are using uh, the try cache block so take one sequence here you pass a comment as a uh, this is a main block and main block always exit on a success and this is a parent block okay now the second sequence we required just move right and give the comment as a try block and it uh, always exit on failure this is your child child sequence and third sequence we required third sequence we required comment you can pass as a catch block it always exit on done so any error occur in try block it will directly jump to a catch block and it will get all the error information so here we also required one input string give the name as a flat file string 
okay then you can save the demo now we need to define some logic here okay so we have a flat file document and i want to convert this flat file document into your is document based on the schema you mentioned in a flat file structure so very first we required one service the flat file convert to values so either you can uh, you using this insert option you can invoke or uh, you can just click and uh, check this particular file is uh, like a uh, service is available or not here i already use that's why it's uh, let me check it is here present or not if it is not present then what i do just go to your wm flat file package pub flat file then here the convert to values uh, inbuilt java service is available so just control c and click uh, copy on this try block okay now you can delete from here and then click on this particular flat file convert to values here flat file string this is our input you can pass to ff data and ff schema so here we have a schema copy this schema control c and paste it here always click on three dot and then paste then your uh, then our next step would be we need to create one document like we need to pass some sample document so this invoice dt we created just drag and drop here and give the name as the invoice and if of values you can drag uh, like uh, drop here and if of values to invoice you can like manual mapping you can do after that you can save this particular demo those field we required as per requirement you can take here other field you don't require you can drop at the real time so ff data we don't require ff schema we don't require in uh, like next step uh, flat file string also and other fields is required so just save this your demo to complete your code we required in cache block one inbuilt service this is a get last error to get all the error information of this particular flow okay so once you done with that then you can save the demo now just run this service run as a run flow service always click on three dot so that uh, you can pass all the input otherwise uh, let me show you what happened sometimes if you copy this particular file but it will not copy accurately see here it only uh, copy only one field but we required uh, all these three uh, like three arrays okay so what you can do uh, just copy this copy this again click on this three dot and then paste it click on ok after that guys you can see the input in front like output in front of you we have passed total three records so invoice 0 1 2 got created and this is the invoice this is a record with the id related flat file and this is a fixed position where we pass uh, to like integrate like particular service we passing the input we have a fixed data like whatever model number we are passing having total 10 character 20 character or 15 character whatever it may be as per your requirement you can mention and uh, don't forget to once you click uh, like click on this flat file schema and whatever uh, record definition you are creating always click on this unlimited option so that whatever array you are passing you are uh, the complete data you can capture here okay and again the thing is that uh, whenever you creating the flat file schema in flat file definition uh, whatever uh, record parser type is there like delimiter fixed length variable length a idea document type so idea document type if you are working on the b2b data transaction you can select this option and uh, 
in delimiter character always uh, this is a new line if you have another requirement carriage data in your tab you have form it something you can click on this so guys uh, quickly recap of this uh, like today's session here we are like we are created one flat file this is a record with id okay so how you can identify this is a record with id document you can see and this is invoice this is a record with the id related flat file and if you are creating a dictionary that a case you can see there the record with the no id particular document list uh, you will create okay so uh, once you can uh, once you create the fix related uh, flat file it always uh, record with id and once you uh, create a schema then document will create and this document you can uh, uh, reference in your flow service as a sample sample document format okay so that and uh, in live project if you are once you create your uh, like design this service flat file convert like pub dot flat file convert to values after that uh, you can check your mapping page and this particular mapping page you can just uh perform the mapping like you can take one map step sequence a loop whatever required you can do and you can perform the business letter logic in your service so guys that's all about uh, today's demonstration so i hope you like and you enjoy this video so uh please like share and comment and if you have any query any doubt regarding any topic Feel free to reach out me in a comment section. We will come up with a new session. Till the time, stay happy, stay connected, and uh, thank you so much. Have a fun, guys.